If you want to build real strong bone, then resistance exercises are great for you. We want to include arm resistance exercises. And of course, we want to get rid of fat wings. Today, we're doing a seated arm workout with 13 exercises with 30 seconds on and 15 second march walking in between each exercise. Now, just because these exercises are seated doesn't mean they'll be easy. This is a serious arm workout with challenging resistance. Some of these exercises are also great for your core too. Now you'll need a few dumbbells for this session. I have one pound, two pound, which is this, three, four, five, and 12 pound weights at home. Start with lighter weights. As you follow this video more often, you'll get stronger and you can go with heavier weights over time. If you're new to Glory B TV, I'm Glory B, and I'd like to welcome you here where our community of mature women want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. If you want to join us, please tap the subscribe button, the little bell, and the thumbs up button. I'm glad you're here, and I'm so excited to get started. We'll start with stretching. For march walking, you may either hold onto weights or put the weights on the floor. Next is the bent over row. Sit toward the edge of the chair, hinge forward at the hips for a flat back that's at about 45 degrees. Start with small weights to do the row in both hands at once. Next is a tricep kickback exercise, which is great for bat wings. Start with the arms back with bent elbows, then extend the arms back to straighten the elbows. Alternate doing a front facing curl with a side curl. For the next exercise, lift the weight straight in front of you at shoulder height, then move your arms laterally until the weights are at your sides, then back in front of you, and then down and repeat.
Next, we'll do the Arnold press with one dumbbell in each hand at chest level with your palms facing you. Raise the weights overhead while rotating your hands 180 degrees until your palms are facing forward with straight arms. Then lower the arms back to starting position with the palms facing you. Next up is the wood chop. Using one dumbbell, sit toward the edge of the chair. Twist the upper body to the left, raise the weight with both hands, rotate all the way to the right, then lower the weight. Then repeat the process starting on the right. For the bent over lateral raise, sit forward on the chair. With the weight in each hand, bend slightly to about a 45 degree angle with the arms and weights hanging down. Lift each weight out to each side up to shoulder height, then slowly lower back down. This next exercise is great for bat wings. Sit forward on the chair. Hold one dumbbell overhead with both hands. Bend the elbows back to lower the weight, then bring the weight back up again. For the Y press, sit at the edge of the chair, a dumbbell in each hand, arms up with bent elbows. Then straighten the arms, moving them up and out to form a Y. Then bring the arms down to the bent position. Next, hold a small dumbbell in each hand, palms up, arms extended straight out to each side. Pulse the arms up and down a couple inches. Hold a small dumbbell in each hand with arms extended straight out to each side, and then do small circles.
coming up is the last exercise. Drop the weights. Do the extended arm circles again, but without the weights. How are your arms feeling? Let me know in the comments. Each time you do these arm exercises, your arms will build more tone muscle. The idea is to do these exercises three times a week with one day off in between to maximize the results. You'll see your arms getting more toned and no more bat wings. If you'd like to continue your workout journey, tap or click one of the images on the right side of your screen, and I'll see you in the next video.